What's up everybody, this is Mike out here to talk to you about how you can get certified as a fiber optic technician. Um, there are a number of reasons why I feel that this is important, but I'm here today to talk more about the how than the why. Now, if you want to know why I think you should get certified as a fiber tech, click below to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Uh, so if you work within the fiber optics industry, the first thing that you want to do is go to the Fiber Optics Association's website, which is thefoa.org, and you're going to scroll down on the left-hand side and find where it says FOA Certifications and click on CFOT, Certified Fiber Optic Technician. If you scroll down on this page, they have a link that says Apply Directly for FOA Certification. Um, this is a form that you can fill out, and you're going to print it out, fill it out, scan it, and email it to them along with your resume. They're going to take a look at what it is that you do, make sure you actually work with fiber optics, and if they approve you, they'll send you the link to take the pre-qualification test, to take the actual certification test. Now, you are going to go to their instructional website, which is fiberu, the word fiber, then the letter u, dot org. There are, I believe, 10 different chapters that teach you everything you need to know to get your CFOT. I'm going to go through each chapter one by one and take really good notes. Uh, go through, don't skip any of the material if you're really serious about getting certified. Watch the YouTube videos, read the text, and take really good notes. At the end of each chapter, take the practice quiz and do well on it before you move on to the next chapter. After you get through all 10, you're going to go out and buy 100 3 by 5 index cards cost like 60 cents from the drugstore and you're gonna go through your notes and you're gonna make flashcards based on all the notes that you took study these flashcards real well and after you study and feel that you know everything start with that first chapters quiz and take the quiz again any questions that you get wrong make note of the question and answer and make a flashcard out of it do this for all 10 chapters so now you got your flashcards from the notes that you took and from the practice quizzes that you took after you studied your flashcards. So you should be solid at this point on everything that they have to teach you. I mean, I, I took very comprehensive notes. You know, take, take pages and pages of notes. Make sure it's, you know, sometimes I don't have the best handwriting, but make sure it's at least legible enough that you'll be able to read it and uh, make flashcards from it later. Um, I bought a pack of 100 flashcards. I initially made like 75 flashcards after I went through the quizzes and made flashcards based on the questions that I got incorrectly. Uh, I ended up with about 90 flashcards. A ton of flashcards. This one right off the top, define cutoff wavelength. Describe chromatic dispersion. How do you set the range for an OTDR test? I mean, I made tons of flashcards and went and took the certification test and you have to get 70 out of 100 questions correctly to pass the test. So if you follow this method, then you should have no problem. And another tip I would like to add is from the time you start going through the first chapter until you finish and take the test, you should try to make that as short of a period of time as possible. You know, I'm not saying rush through it because obviously you want to learn everything, but don't study the first chapter, then wait a month, then study the next, next chapter, then wait a month, because uh, you'll forget everything. Try and do it within a timely fashion, and then once you know everything, you're going to take the uh, pre-qualification test. You take it on your own. It's a closed book test. Don't cheat on it, obviously, because then you're not going to get anything out of this. After you pass that, then they're going to give you the option of taking the proctored test, which is the test for your actual certification. Go down to your public library, tell them that you need to take a proctored test. It's something that they're pretty familiar with. They do it for university students all the time. Schedule a time and date with them. Go take the test. It only took me about a half hour, and I was taking my time with it. Uh, this isn't something that's hard to do, and it could really help your career. So I really feel strongly that it's something that you should do. And if you follow the method that I just outlined, you should have absolutely no problem getting certified as a fiber tech through the Fiber Optics Association. Take it easy.